everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to crochet the absolutely stunning feather stitch. This stitch is amazingly textured. It is exactly the same on both sides and would make for the most gorgeous scarves or indeed big fat squishy blankets. If this is your first visit to my channel it would be amazing if you just took a moment to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future crochet videos. Now this stitch works out nice and fast and I very quickly got enamored with it and got a wee bit carried away with the sample that I was making. <laughs> For this sample, I have used Red Heart Super Saver Stripes and this is the Retro Stripe Colorway. I also have used a 6mm crochet hook for this, but it will of course work for any yarn and any hook size that you want to use. Without further ado, let's leap straight on in to how to make the feather stitch. For the feather stitch, we're going to start with foundation half double crochet stitches. Now, if you don't know how to do foundation half double crochet stitches, I do have a video on how to do just that. I have linked to it in the description box below, or a little eye will have popped up over here somewhere for you to click on to go straight to that video. I will try and show you briefly now, but I'm not going to go too in depth. But for a foundation half double crochet, you start with a slip knot on your hook and chain two. Yarn over and working into your first chain, you want to try and catch two loops of that chain. Yarn over and come back through. You will have three loops on your hook. Now pull that loop up a little bit higher than you usually would. Yarn over, pull through one, which forms the chain. And then yarn over, pull through all three stitches, which forms the half double crochet on top. Now the pattern multiple is two plus one. So you're going to work your project for however wide you want it to be in multiples of two half double crochet foundation stitches. So that's my two. So I'm gonna keep crocheting sets of two and then right at the end, add one more foundation half double crochet. So because I'm just going to be doing a tiny little swatch of the feather stitch, I will show you how to finish your sample on this larger one that I showed you a second ago in the intro. So we'll come back to this bigger one here. But for this, I'm just going to do a tiny little sample. So I am going to make 12 foundation half double crochets, and then I'm going to add one more for a total of 13. So I have my 13 half double crochet stitches. Now we're going to move on to do the sort of set up foundation row. So chain one, which does not count as a stitch, turn your work and we're going to work immediately into the same half double crochet that you just chained from. So pop a half double crochet in that first stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, half double crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat this all the way down until your very last stitch. It's a half double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, half double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, all the way down. So to end the row, you're going to end on a half double crochet. So you should have something that looks like this. Now we're going to move on to the feather stitch rows. So chain one and turn your work. Again, this chain one does not count as a stitch. To start, you're going to place a half double crochet in that very first stitch. Chain one. And now we're going to do our feather stitches. So for our feather stitches, we are going to be working into this chain space here. 
the skip stitch here, so one, two rows down, and this chain space here. So here, here, and here. So yarn over, go into the chain space, catch the yarn at the back, and come through and pull it up. So you've got three loops. Then yarn over, go into this skip stitch, two rows down, yarn over at the back, come through and pull up. You want all your stitches to be the same height. So you should have five loops on your hook. Then yarn over and work into the next chain one space. So skip that half double crochet and into the chain one space. Yarn over and pull up. You should have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And that is your first feather stitch. So you've worked into the chain one space, the skip stitch two rows down, and the chain one space. Chain one. And we're going to now work another feather. So you're going to start in the same chain one space where you just ended, the skip stitch below, and the next chain one space. So yarn over into the chain space here where you just finished your last feather. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, go into your skip stitch, two rows down. Yarn over and pull up and pull up all the way up as high as it will let you go. And then yarn over and work into this chain one space here. Yarn over and pull up. Seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops. Chain one. And again, starting in the same chain one space where you just finished your last feather. Chain one space, the skip stitch immediately below it, and then the next chain one space. So yarn over to the chain one space. Yarn over, go into that skip stitch, two rows down. Pull up a loop. And then yarn over and go into the next chain one space seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all seven, and chain one. I'll show you again, yarn over, go into the same chain one space you just ended on, and pull up a loop, yarn over and go into this skip stitch, two rows down, pull up a loop and pull that one up nice and tall, and then yarn over, go into the next chain one space. Yarn over at the back and pull up a loop. Seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven. Chain one. And again, final feather goes in this chain one space where we just ended, the skip stitch below, and the next chain one space. chain one and now because we've reached the end of the row we've only got this last chain space that you've just worked into we're going to end with a half double crochet right into the top of the half double crochet from the row below so that row is how you do every single feather row for as long as you want your work to be Chain one, turn your work, half double crochet in that very first stitch. Chain one. And now the only difference is, instead of working into a skip stitch two rows down, you're working into the chain one space. So your feather yarn over, go into this first chain one space here pull up a loop, then yarn over and go into this chain one space, two rows down, 
pull up a loop. And then you're going to work into this chain one space in between the feathers from the row below. Seven loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all seven to finish your feather stitch. Chain one, and again, you're going to work your feather into the same chain one space where you just ended your last feather, into the chain one space, two rows down, and then the chain one space in between your feathers here. So here, here, and here. Chain one in between your feathers. And to end the row, chain one, and put a half double crochet in the half double crochet from the row below. So your feathers will straddle, if I bring in my larger sample, you'll straddle back and forth with nice straight edges either side. So keep repeating this feather row for as long as you want your project to be and then when you have finished, I'm going to bring in my larger sample here, take the hook out. When you've finished, you'll be left with the top row like this. Now to get it to match your foundation half double crochet row at the bottom, put my hook in. Chain one, turn your work, and you're going to place a half double crochet into the top of your half double crochet stitch from the row below. Then you're going to place a half double crochet into this chain one space, and half double crochet into the top of the feather stitch. Now, because I've used quite a big hook, you can see the sort of loop here the center point of your feather. So pop a half double crochet in there, half double crochet in the chain one between your feathers, half double crochet in the top of your feather stitch itself. So you keep doing that half double crochets all the way across to the end of your row. So when you're done, chain one, snip your yarn, pull it up. I'm not going to cut mine just yet because I'm going to continue and see, maybe make a big fat squishy scarf out of this. I'm not entirely sure yet. I may even just use up the rest of the ball and then sew the ends together for an infinity scarf. I'm a little bit undecided, so I'm a bit loath to cut my yarn just yet. But that shows you how you finish off the feather stitch to get a nice straight edge that matches the bottom row. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you love the feather stitch as much as I do. It is a new stitch to me, but it certainly will not be the last time I'm using it in a project, that's for sure. I absolutely love how it works up. And if you haven't already subscribed, it would be amazing if you didn't forget to just do that now, that'd be great. Or perhaps share this video with someone else who you think may also enjoy making the feather stitch. So if you have any questions, please feel free to shout in the comments section below. I do my best to try and get to every single one of you. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.